Hey guys, how are you guys doing this wonderful evening? I hope that you guys are having a great day or have had a great day so far. It's a little late, but I decided to um, go ahead and get this video done. So, uh, if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, you already know, welcome back. I appreciate you every time. Um, I'm going to be sharing some dolls with you that my sister from Texas, um, from another mother and father, sent me. And um, I wanted to share these a week ago. They came, well, they came about five, six days ago or something like that. Um, but I had to wait until um, I got everything situated. So I finally got them in and I'm able to share them with you guys. And uh, my hands look a mess. Don't mind my hand, y'all. I've been crafting. I received um, a package from Joanne Fabric in the mail, and so I'm able to start on my dolls. And so I've been crafting and all sorts of things. So don't mind the hands. But as I said, I hope that you guys uh, have had a good day so far. Okay, so before I share these dolls with you all, I would like to know if anybody knows what kind of dolls these are. I have no idea, but I thought that they were so cute. I love the the, um, the dresses that I have another one. And I love the dresses that they're wearing and how um, it's doubled. Like this is a dress and this is a slip part. And then they have on like the pants under here. And then the shoes. I'm like... This is so cute. The dress is a really, really, really good fabric. Um, I fell in love with them when I seen them, but I wasn't sure what type of dolls these are. So if anybody knows, just leave it down in the comment box so that I, let me put my glasses on, so that I will know because I have no idea. So look at that. Isn't that cute? Isn't she cute, y'all? Look at that. And she has on the little slip under here with the pants also. And she has boots on. The other one has on boots, but they're small, they're short like booties. And then look at their hair. This is exactly the way it came. I think they're so cute. I don't I've never um seen any dolls like this before. So that's why I kind of fell in love with them and the outfit when I saw them. So yeah. I have no idea what kind of dolls they are. I said Poland and furs or something like that, but I don't know, but I know they're freaking cute. Okay, so let me share these porcelain dolls with you guys that my sister sent me. Of course, the box is open because I uh, had to show them to my aunt. She was so adamant, like, and I was like, okay, let me go ahead and take them out of the box so she can check them out. Okay, so this first one, the first doll she sent me, it plugs, where's my outlet thingy? I hope I can reach over there, y'all, so y'all can get a good look. It plugs in the wall. Let me see. And she, like, moves her hands. Like, she opens and closes her hands, y'all. Man, oh, man. Okay, let me, un let me, um unwrap her first you know what let me see if I could scoot over so y'all can see completely because my chair is not situated in the middle the way it should be there we go yeah this is how she wrapped it y'all <laughs> she's waiting she's in Killeen in Texas so she wanted to make sure this doll got to me in one piece and she did So anyway, this is a doll that my sister's mom bought her over 20 years ago, and she kept her in the box, and she just never did anything with her, and so once I started collecting dolls, she took her time, <laughs> but she decided to send her to me, and she's, um, uh, what kind of doll? Let me look on this paper. Look at her pretty hair. This is so pretty. Look at that. It's so soft. 
over 20 years ago and her hair is still nice and soft yeah. she's a good dog y'all she's um what is this Almost, she's a motionette for one because she opens and closes her hands, her arms. Um, I love the detail of her clothes. Look under there, the little rough lace under her dress. And then she has on tights. And then her shoes are super cute. The little red boots or what have you. And her little purse. It's cute. So let me see. Let me just see if I can um let me see if I can plug her up over there. Her cord is long, so I should be able to. Let me see. I don't know. I'm gonna try. Nope. I think I'm gonna have to scoop my chair back over. Okay, guys, so now I got her plugged up. So let's see what it is that she does. Um, there's a, oh, the switch is right here. Okay, so let's see. So she moves her hands while also moving her head. If you look closely, her head is kind of moving from side to side. I love it. So I turned her off. Okay, so there you have it. She's so cute. Man, oh man. Thank you, sis. I love and appreciate you for taking the time out to send me her. Man, I really, really love her. She's so, so, so pretty. And just the fact that um, everything here that she has on is authentic. Uh, it's been over 20-something years since my sis had this doll, and nothing's been changed. Everything is just the way it was when her mom bought, bought her for her. Okay, so let me pull that out. All right. So, she actually had another surprise for me she actually sent me another doll and I wasn't supposed to know and I was so surprised when I opened the box because um, there was another doll <laughs> inside the box so this was definitely a surprise and a nice one Okay, you guys so here is the next doll that my sister sent me and excuse the box I opened up the box to show it to my aunt and I kind of halfway halfway close it or what have you but this one is uh, wearing wedding attire and um, she's a bisque porcelain um, yeah so Collectible porcelain dolls. Okay, so let me open the box and bring her out so that you guys can get a look, good look at her. She's all wired down, so I'm not going to pull her off the wire or anything. I'm just going to open it so you guys can get a better look. Okay, here she is, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Look at her dress. Look at her. Look at the wedding dress. When I tell you, this wedding dress is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's so fluffy, a nice size. Um, she's um, holding her veil is. Um, let me see if I can take her because I want I want you guys to see her veil. So let me see if I can um, actually pull her off of here just for a minute. I can just for a minute okay 
so I'm not gonna pull all of it off. But this is her veil. Look how long her veil is, y'all. This reminds me of my veil when my husband and I got married. I promise you, my veil and my train were so freaking long. And um, this is so cute. This is her veil. Oh my goodness. And this is her dress. Has a little slip under here too. Um, so she has on jewelry around her neck. And her veil is so, so cute. Uh, even you can kind of see, let me see, how her hair is done. It's, her hair is like pinned up in the back, like a pin up with the curls hanging. Yeah. Okay, so let's pull that back over this way. Oh, man, she is adorable, y'all. And when I tell you her dress, the fabric and everything is just like, uh, it would be for a gown for yourself or me. This is not cheap. This lace, this is lace, of course, but this right here is a fabric, a lacy fabric. It's not just lace, and it's really nice. It's really nice, y'all. And then we have the pearl detail coming down on the gown. The, you have the pearl detail swirling around, Then these are roses. Then she also has roses in her in her veil uh, her lashes are really cute she's so pretty and of course these are this is her bouquet <laughs> um, look at her sleeves on her dress you got got some strings hanging I'm gonna have to cut them because I don't want them to tear or anything but look at the sleeves isn't that gorgeous? I mean, this doll is so gorgeous, y'all. So now I'm going to see if I can get her back um, back on the, back inside the, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do it like this. Because I don't want to damage anything, y'all. So I'm going to put her back um There we go. Okay. So there we go. There you have it. So I put her back the way she was. I can also leave this like that. That's a part of her veil coming over her face. Um, it doesn't even matter. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. She's back in on the stand or what have you. This is the bottom of her dress, y'all. I didn't show you the very bottom that has a rose um, and pearl details on both ends of her um, of her dress yeah so oh man thank you Kim I love you girl you know I do always have always will she's um, always thinking about me she even sent me a really cute card with this um, just telling me that she loved me and was just trying to brighten up my day sometimes we need that we need that sometimes and I'm thankful that she um, she thinks about me like that. I can't, she's always been that kind of person. We've been um, best friends slash sisters since we were like in our early 20s, you know, and so been friends for over 40 years, over 40 years. So she's an awesome part of my life. So I'm really thankful that she decided to uh, send this to me. <laughs> So, yeah, that was a great, great, great thing. You know, she knows I love dolls. She knows I love dolls, y'all. So, anyway, um, I had a package come in, as I was telling you all. Um, let's see if I can get that back in here. I had a package come in from Joanne Fabric. And so, I am... Um, back to creating my creating and selling my dolls and um, in another week or so I'll be sharing uh, those with you all I have been so excited you guys about uh, doing my dolls I've been really excited 
And so I'm really thankful about that. Also, I want to share these pen, these ink pens with you all. I know you guys have probably seen them. They're sur they've been surfing around on YouTube for the past couple of years. And one person in particular, who is such a great teacher, who gave me some great ideas and she showed you how to make them, is uh, Stephanie Garrett. Shout out to her. Um, just so she knows, I have liked and subscribed to your channel. And I'm giving her a shout out because um, I love the idea with the ink pens. And um, I have definitely been creating ink pens, keychains, and things like that that I'm going to start selling. Um, and I don't have a storefront. My goal, my goal is to uh, stock up on my things and then come spring and summer, I'll be outside having up a, a pop-up shop and things like that. I think that's enough. So, um, I'm going to share those with you guys. As soon as I cover up my dogs, because I don't want... I don't want anything to happen to him. I don't want him to get broken. And I got a grandbaby here, and he's very busy. He's autistic, so, but he's very smart, so he's always into stuff. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Okay, as I said again, shout out to Stephanie Garrett, and thank you, thank you so much for sharing um, your pens. Um, I'm always checking her channel out. She's always making wonderful things. She, she also has an Etsy shop. You might want to check that out. Uh, she is the bomb. Fire. And so um, I love following crafty people because not only am I, am I a doll collector and I share dolls with you guys, but I'm also a crafter. And so I'm always creating something. I showed you guys before the poodles and um, I'll be sharing sharing with you guys how I make those. And so um, here is some of the ink pens I have made. And um, I'll be selling them. They'll be uh, in a shop or what have you. However I'm going to do it. So these are some of my pens. Aren't those gorgeous, y'all? I thought I would share them with you guys. Um, and I got plenty more, but I just wanted to share a few with you guys so that you know what it is I'm doing. Uh, as I said, I'm always crafting and making something, y'all. I even make the, the uh, oh, excuse me, the wine bottle openers. Or they're not openers, they're wine bottle holders is what I call them. Because once you open your wine, instead of putting the cork back in, you just take one of these and stick this part down in there. So I think these are really cute also. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. So you'll be seeing more. You'll be seeing more. Um. From me as far as crafting um, where Christmas is up once again upon us and so um, yeah I'll be doing all kinds of things y'all okay so um, I'm trying to get this video thing together as far as how you make the videos when you're showing people how you make things I know how to do the shorts but to just do a video while I'm making it on video I got to get it down packed and I'm waiting for my tablet holder that's going to help me also. Okay, so right now it's just sitting there. Thank goodness it hasn't tipped over. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I think that's it, you guys, for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed my dolls as much as I enjoy sh showing them and sharing them with you guys. I'm just so thankful for her. Um, I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. I want to give a shout out to my sister. Uh, Rebecca, her YouTube handle 
is um, Savannah here. Savannah here. Not Savannah is here, but Savannah here. I put that in uh, up in the search bar and Savannah is here popped up. So it's someone on here whose name Savannah is here also. So hers is Savannah here, all one word. Um, and um, check her out. You guys will really love her channel. She's one who loves to, um, she sings, she loves to share the word of God. She loves to minister and encourage. She's one who loves to encourage people. She really does, y'all. So you might want to check out her channel. I'm sure you guys will love her. Okay, so once again, thank you guys for stopping by. If this is your first time here, I hope that by the end of the video, you decide to like and subscribe to my channel. And another thing, I always like to say this. Please put your handle down in the box below if you would like for me to subscribe to your channel. Put it down there, y'all, and then I can subscribe to you also, okay? That's what I'm here for, not just to share, you know. I also want to subscribe to you so I can check out your channel, okay? All right, so I appreciate you guys once again. Listen, God loves you. He does. I don't care what it is you're going through. Everybody's going through something these days, you guys. Sometimes life is so unsure. <clears throat> My daughter went to uh, the hospital uh, about a week or so ago uh, dealing with anxiety, which I dealt with uh, most of my young life. Not as much now, but during my young, young life I did. And she deals with that occasionally, sometimes really bad. And do you guys know that the ambulance, when that picked her up, the ambulance drivers, both of them, they were like, there is a lot of people going through anxiety right now. And they told her, they said, one of them was like, I even go through it from time to time. But they said that anxiety is at an all-time high. So, you know what? It's good for us to just love on and pray for one another. We need it. We need it. Okay? All right. So, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. And I will see you, I hope, in the next one. God bless you.